I just read a news release that at least 49 people are dead and f or they believe that up to 49 people are dead, another 48 people are injured after a, sh a massive shooting at a mosque in Christchurch, New Zealand. Um, it's believed that four people um, were involved in that shooting. Four people are in custody. And one of the people involved in that shooting was a man that left a 74-page anti-immigrant manifesto saying who he was and why he, um, why he shot all these people. I'm very fast to condemn people. Like, whenever I hear about terrorist attacks... <clears throat> Whenever I hear about terrorist attacks committed by Muslim extremists, I'm extremely fast to condemn it, condemn them because I think it's sick and disgusting. Like we've seen terrorist attacks committed by Muslim extremists in places like Canada, um, the UK, Germany, France, Australia, and many other countries around the world as well too. But on the same note, I'm just as fast to condemn terrorist attacks committed against Muslims. Two wrongs don't make a right. Yes, the majority of the terrorist attacks I've heard about in this world have been committed by Muslims, Muslim extremists against, against non-Muslims. But it's just as wrong to commit terrorist attacks against Muslims. Two wrongs do not make a right. Okay, like, remember that it's only a small percentage of Muslims who are terrorists, who are criminals. They only make up a small percentage of the Muslim, Muslim faith. This is just as disgusting. So now we're seeing this in New Zealand, terrorist attacks against Muslims. We've seen it happen in Canada and Quebec City. When that madman, uh, I think his name is Alexander Bis Bissonette, got convicted of committing a terrorist attack in a Quebec City mosque, um, I believe it was in 2017, where he murdered six Muslims and injured another 19. He was sentenced to life in jail with no chance of parole for 40 years, which I don't think is enough. He's only about 28 or 29 years old he I think he should get you can get life in jail with no chance of parole for 25 years for each first degree murder you're convicted of in Canada so I think on I think this and that should have gotten 150 years in jail quite frankly he should never see the light of day again and this this bastard has the nerve to be appealing his sentence saying that he wants to be able to get parole after 25 years which he doesn't deserve i also condemn a terrorist attack that took place in norway several years ago uh, where i believe i believe it was a white norwegian man that went onto this island within norway and murdered a bunch of uh Muslim children. I think they're at a camp. Terrorism is wrong, period. No matter who it's committed by, and no, it's, no matter who it's committed against. We all must stand up and condemn any kind of terrorism. I hope that the perpetrators of these, of this horrible act in Christchurch, New Zealand, I hope they are prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law in New Zealand.